Facts don't care for your feelings. Facts don't care for your feelings. Some of us in the room sometimes don't even feel loved, but the fact is you're loved. There's some of us in the room sometimes feel like we don't have value. The fact is you have value. But what does that have to do with me loving my neighbor? It has everything to do. Because sometimes how we view ourselves is what we project on others. Watch this. I'm going to lean into this passage of Scripture. We tend to listen or we hear this passage um, being spoken out in funerals a lot. Um, Unfortunately, we're not at a funeral. Okay, Everyone's well and alive today. Watch this, Psalm 23. This is what the psalmist says. This This is what David says. The Lord is my shepherd. I want you to say my shepherd. Immediately, he's taking ownership of his father. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down on green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though, I want you to say even though, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. That's a guarantee. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. I want you to say even though. Even though 2020 has not looked like we thought it was going to look like. Even though I lost my job. Even though I'm about to get a divorce. Even though I haven't spoken to my child in so many years. Even though there are people gossiping about me and it's not even true. This is what the psalm is saying. Even though I'm walking through the valley of shadow of death, you are with me regardless. This is the agape love that God wants to release tonight for you. Even though, in your even though, God wants to be there with you. 